In today's art of aging, heart disease looms larger as we get older. And while doctors have a host of methods to find problems, they also have some shortcomings. Well, now new technology is making a prime tool at one hospital even better, saving lives, but also preventing unnecessary procedures. Action News anchor Tamla Edwards has more. Rich Cohen knew high cholesterol made him a heart disease target, so did family history. My father had had a heart attack at 48, 49. Only my grandfather and his brother lived past 60. They all had massive heart attacks at 60. Weeks before his 50th birthday, the third generation insurance adjuster went for a cardiac assessment. After a preliminary test showed potential trouble, Cohen had a CT scan with a sobering result. It turned out I had a blockage in my main artery and it was pretty significant. This one right here, this is called the LAD. Dr. Thomas Fiambolas of the Lankanaw Heart Institute wanted to know more, so he sent the CT scan for a heart flow analysis. Heart flow measures blood flow using the science of computational fluid dynamics. This helps us analyze each of the three coronary arteries. It's able to discern the blood flow through the coronary artery and determine whether a particular stenosis or blockage is in fact blocking blood flow. Cohen's heart flow results showed the blockage was so dangerous he needed heart bypass surgery. But Dr. Fiambola says heart flow's big use is in actually helping patients avoid unnecessary heart catheterizations by showing that their problems are less serious ones which can be treated with medication. Those that do have problems on CT or heart flow do go to the cath lab but they are the right patients in the cath lab. Cohen couldn't tolerate the side effects from conventional statin cholesterol drugs, but he's on a new generation of medication that's cut the dangerous LDL cholesterol in half. I'm better than I was, much better than I was. Tamala Edwards, Channel 6 Action News.